Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Authentic Sounds. My name is Wim Winters. This video is the first in a row that I will use to summarize some of the longer vlog episodes or to make very short videos on its own. You'll know on forehand that I will have a maximum length of 3 minutes. Therefore the name 3 minute vlog. This 3 minute vlog is about the first Bach biographer Johann Nicolaus Forkel. We focus on the information we find on the historical use and position of the clavichord. Short about Forkel, who lived at the end of the 18th and early 19th century, he was a musician, organist, musicologist, who worked for 50 years at the University of Göttingen, wrote several important works and is today considered to be the founder of the modern musicology. His biography of Bach, which is dated 1802, is based on letters and personal encounters he had with two of Bach's children, Friedemann Bach and Karl Philipp Immanuel Bach. The German term Klavier is for Forkel synonym to the clavichord. And Forkel is very clear on Bach's relationship to the clavichord. Bach considered the clavichord to be the best instrument for study, teaching and expressing his deepest musical ideas. Study not in the 20th century meaning, but in the 18th century one, as also the four parts of the Klavier Übung, keyboard studies, were of the highest thinkable standards of musical composition to enable you to study and become better musicians and performers. What's also interesting is that Forkel defines clearly what is meant to be keyboard or clavichord music, namely all partitas, all suites, all preludes and fugues, also the well-tempered keyboard, well-tempered clavier, fantasies, and so on. The concerti and the accompaniment were meant for the harpsichord. He also makes an explicit link between the well-tempered keyboard, the well-tempered well clavier, and the unfretted clavichord. It's worth checking out yourself. In general, we see in this work a prominent place for the clavichord in the solo works of Bach, something that's not reflected on today's music scene. According to this source, we could say that in today's musical practice we overestimate the role of the harpsichord in the performance of the solo works of Johann Sebastian Bach. I will continue to read mainly 18th century sources to see how they describe the position and the role of the clavichord in the context of their time. Next person will be Adlung. Thank you very much for watching this short video to the end and if you like it please hit the subscribe button. We'll see each other very soon again. Bye!